Quite a lot of powerful guns are hidden in Far Cry 6 with the menu not giving you the right information on how to get these items either. But if you know where to find them, you can actually get them really early on. So I want to get over more amazing weapons that you totally want to get, including the M16, the 1911 pistol, which I got many questions about. So a ton to go over, if you of course like the Far Cry content on the channel, then don't leave a like on the video, would really help me out and let's go. There's a new Far Cry credits giveaway for 2300 credits, you can enter via the link in the pinned comment, of course these giveaways are only for subscribers of the channel, so be sure you are a subscriber if you want to participate. We'll be announcing the winner from the previous one very very soon, so stay tuned for that. I will showcase many locations for weapons in this video and yes, you can all get them early if you buy that hideout network camp facility in one of the home bases because then you can of course buy locations that easily let you move across the world mentioned this many times before but wanted to remind you because i'm going to say that you can get these items early well you can if you do that step first now let's start with the 1911 pistol that you find during one of the treasure hunts that also gives you one of my favorite weapon charms that disco ball. You now see me rock it on the M16, which I will talk about in a second. And maybe you saw me use it in other videos too. I've been rocking it very often. Well, you get it from the beat goes on. This treasure hunt over here on the map. After completing it, you do not only get that amazing charm, but also the 1911 pistol. Now, this is just a great all-around sidearm. You can nicely use it for stealth, to snipe enemies from afar, or just take out targets in combat. I find it very satisfying to use it without aiming. Pretty, pretty nice. Just one-hit headshots, it's easily done. Of course, you have to use the armor piercing rounds for that. If we compare it to the rank 4 sidearms in the game, we got the Desert Eagle that only has more damage than this weapon. But if we compare it to the P226, we basically see that the stats are almost identical, only that the P226 has a bit better accuracy and stealth, higher fire rate, although it's only 30. If you focus on the one-hit headshots, I don't think you will notice the difference. The 10 bullets versus the 8 in the 1911 is of course quite the increase. And overall, the P226 is a rank 4 pistol, which means that it has one extra mod slot. But sure, the P226 is a weapon you get before the final mission of the game, so pretty late. If you want a more stealthy pistol early on, then the 1911 is a great get. I went, by the way, more in-depth on that P226 in my previous video, which I will link to at the end of this one. Now let's move on to the complete opposite of a small sidearm, a massive rocket launcher called Into Orbit, but I call it Into The Orbit for this whole bit. Already recorded it. So yeah, that's why I will say Into The Orbit all the time. I still think that sounds pretty cool. Either way, this launcher comes with guided rockets. So aim at the helicopter, wait a small bit, and then you are locked onto the target, and then the missile will go to that target. Shoot a second one, and the helicopter hits the ground. It's only one missile for ground vehicles, by the way, so really great early on. Improved weapon damage to enemies below you is the mod on the weapon, which could be nice in some situations, like at the end of the Maceo Special Ops. Still though, in many other situations, it's kind of useless, and I also don't think that the damage increase is that noticeable. So it's always, of course, better to run with the regular variant of the weapon, the Red 4 in this case, which also has two extra mod slots. And yeah, the Into the Orbit skin works on this weapon, but it's harder to get the Red 4. We found it in F&D Cache in Esperanza, but yeah, you have to be lucky to get it. Although I think cruising through the city and opening every chest you see will eventually give it to you. Into the Orbit is way easier to get. Just go over here on the map and complete the Liquid Courage treasure hunt, at the end you get the Into the Orbit rocket launcher. Having a nice all-around weapon early on or just throughout the rest of the game is amazing too, and the ARC checks those boxes. We already told you about a unique variant, the Urushi, in our previous Best Weapons You Want to Get Early video. Also a link to that will be in the video description, but having one you can customize it's of course a bit nicer. It only has one mod though, instead of the two we saw on that unique variant. But now you can put a really good scope on it, even one on the side if you want. 
there's room for a better laser pointer if you have the resources and a more suitable mod like faster reloading or the supremo charge from headshots is still my favorite what else is there to say it shoots really fast although you can be mindful of the 30 bullets in your magazine and just use a few shots to take out the enemies from close or far away can recommend this weapon to everyone so totally do that a little birdie told me treasure hunt only cost a few minutes and you start it near the home base of the legends so you will have to unlock that first although that's also very easily doable if you just follow that main story. Moving on to the awesome M16A assault rifle added to Far Cry 5 with the Vietnam DLC. But in Far Cry 6, it's already here at launch. Although you might be looking at the menu and be like, okay... Find in military controlled zones or build the guerrilla garrison. Well, maybe you already checked the shop. It's not there. No, you find the regular variant over here on the map instead. During the pretty short but still quite fun high supply treasure hunt. It's near the city, so pretty easy to get there. And this then also means that you can customize this pretty nice gun. To be fair though, it's two stars for a reason. Sure, the fire rate is insane. It just looks really awesome. I like the design. But the 20 magazine size means that you have to reload it really often. Now the reload is not that long luckily. So it's not that big a deal but it's still not ideal. You do notice sometimes that it can be hard to hit enemies from further away. Although if you have the time and can line up the Resolver Reflex Sight MK2. Then it's totally possible to still insta kill enemies from further. It's just harder if enemies are moving around. I mostly love it for the close range. Mostly hip fire damage though. That's why I got the Pointer Socket MK2 on the gun for those more precise hipfire shots. It's really satisfying, enemies die very easily and I now have the Headshot Supremo as a mod. But there is another mod that works really well on the weapon and you will notice this while using the unique variant of this M16. And Ubisoft also put this one behind a treasure hunt, it's called the A Rising Tide. It's all the way down on the map close to the starting island or to the Legends home base. And for this you need to press 5 buttons in the right order. Now the idea is that you look around in a small village to find the order. Or I can just tell you it. It will save you some time. So it's first El Tigre. Then Poppy. Then El Lucky. Then Clarita. And then the final one you want to press is Victoria. And then the locked door will open up and you can get this amazing unique variant that I will not try to pronounce. So the preset on this weapon is like, okay, the scope is kind of meh. As again, long range can be kind of hard with this weapon. So not a big fan of the tactical sight. And it only has a rank 1 laser pointer. Now I mostly think that one mod on this gun is pretty interesting. Improves the speed of replacing a partially used mag. Which is kind of nice because then you just have to make it a habit that after each skill you press the reload button for faster reloads i mean you will be reloading often anyways thanks to the 20 bullet mag truth be told though because the reload is already pretty fast you will not really need nor really notice it although if you're used to like reloading very often then it can still be nice also interesting is that this unique variant has two mods also the improved draw and holster speed while you can only put one mod on the regular m16 still i would suggest the regular m16 because the massive downside of this unique variant are these soft target rounds like that of course makes every weapon useless against like heavily armored enemies that the game will throw at you quite often especially later on so then you're forced to switch while the armor piercing rounds on the regular m16 have no issue taking them out so yes in short totally get this unique variant because you can also use the skin of course on the regular m16 but overall the regular m16 is better if you just want to rock the gun subscribe of course for way more far cry 6 content we'll show more weapon locations that are worth your time and go in depth on some gear and way way more a like on the video would really help me out you can check out that video on the items you get after finishing the game with no story spoilers whatsoever by clicking on the screen. For now, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.